I'm so glad you were able to join me. Tonight's a really special night. It is? You've been my girlfriend for a really long time, and I'm ready to tell you something that I'm ready to do. Really? I'm ready too. Good, because I didn't want this to come as a surprise. I'm kind of surprised, but I was hoping this would happen. I'm just gonna say it. I want to get married, and I just wanted to- Yes! That's all I'll say is yes! <laughs> yes? I'm so surprised. I thought you'd object. Object? Why would I object? Because I'm getting married to your best friend. Did I just hear you wrong? Did you just say you're gonna marry my friend Sarah? No, no, no. You heard right. You're such a good listener. We've been dating for four years, and now you're gonna marry my best friend? You wouldn't even know her if it wasn't for me. Well, in that case, thanks for introducing us. I can't believe it. I almost forgot to say you're welcome. Oh, and one more thing. You forgot to finish your water. Huh? <laughs> you didn't have to come pick me up. We could have met out as usual. Well, how was I supposed to meet your father if I don't come over? Why do you want to meet my dad? I heard a lot about him because he went to Stanford. Just like me. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you went to Stanford. My dad will love that. Oh, yeah. Go Comets. Uh, no. Go Knights. No. I mean, go Stanford. Oh, well, we'll have to go get him. Oh, Mom. Yes, sweetie? This is Ryan. We've been dating for some time now. He wants to meet Dad. Well, I think he just finished golf. Let me go get him. Your mom is so sweet. Now I know where you got your good looks from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes dad now. Oh, I hear we have a Stanford Cardinal in the house. So it's not comments, dang it. Yeah, go Cardinals. <laughs> Funny guy, calls it Cardinals? Of course you know it's Cardinal, not Cardinals. After all, you graduated from there, right? Right, right. I graduated there after high school <laughs> because that's where you'd want a son to graduate before he takes over the family business. <laughs> Something like that, except Sarah's our only child. Well, you never know. Someday. Well, we don't have any plans for that, but... Well, plans do change. Let's go, babe. Good to meet you. Yes, indeed. It was so great meeting your dad today. And mom. <laughs> they have such a beautiful home. And daughter. Oh, you're <laughs> such a smooth talker. I'm sure all the girls fall for you. Oh, <laughs> they sure do. But I've been looking for the right one. And that right one is you. Oh, you're so sweet. But what do you mean? You saw your parents. They wish they had a son. But they're too old. <laughs> that son is me. What are you saying? Sarah, will you marry me and give your parents a son they always wished for? I want to be your husband. Oh my gosh, this is such a surprise. We've only been on three dates. It's fate. What's right is right. Plus, when are you going to date another Stanford Cardinal? Oh my gosh! Well, in that case, we have a lot of planning to do. I have to get the church, my bridesmaids, my dress! Okay, wait, wait. One thing though, babe. We cannot invite my ex-girlfriend, okay? She's kind of obsessed with me, and I don't want her to ruin anything. Okay, that's fine. Whatever you say, sweetie. Okay, good. Caitlin has been trying to warn her friend about Ryan, but Sarah won't talk to her. Maddie, you're not going to believe what happened. Caitlin, you sound so stressed out on the phone. I burnt myself on the coffee. That's not important. Ryan's getting married to Sarah. Oh, I'm happy for them, I guess. What's wrong with that? Well, it's a really big problem because he's my boyfriend. I thought you guys broke up a long time ago. What makes you think that? Because he just asked me out last week. Oh, that two-timing jerk. I'm going to get him. Well, let me know if you need help. You got it. I really needed this. I've been so stressed out. Oh, is something wrong? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Well, we've got nothing but time. What's the tea, girl? Ryan broke up with me. 
Sorry, the coffee. And now he's marrying Sarah. Do Sarah's parents have money by chance? Huh? Why would you ask that? He came to me asking if my parents were rich. I think he wanted to go out with me. That's it. I'm getting to the bottom of this. If anything, for our friend Sarah. Well, if I were you, I'd start by finding out what happened with her and Jack. That's a great idea. Caitlin just found out the truth about Jack. How is she going to stop this wedding? Will the happy couple please step forward? Doesn't she look so beautiful? I always wondered when this day would come. Yeah, but I always thought it'd be with Shh. Don't jinx it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to celebrate the wedding of Ryan and Sarah. Before we get started, the happy couple ask if they could write their own wedding vows. Sarah, we're gonna start with you. Everyone expected me to marry my old boyfriend, Jack, of five years, but it turns out he was secretly married. But that was the past. Ryan is my future. And together, we're going to live happily ever after and be the family of my parents' dream. Sarah is the girl I've always dreamed of marrying. Not only is she beautiful on the outside, but she's equally as beautiful on the inside. And I feel like her parents are as close to me as they are to her. I don't understand why Jack would pass on an opportunity like this, but his loss is my gain. Now, Minister, if you so please, carry on with the ceremony. Wow, that was beautiful and interesting. Marriage is a union between two people. Now, before we continue, is there anyone here that objects to this lifelong bond? Very well then, let us proceed with the nuptials. Do you, Ryan, take this woman, Sarah, to be your lawfully wedded wife forever and ever, as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> do you, Sarah, take thee, Ryan, to be your lawfully wedded husband forever and ever, as long as you both- I object! What is she doing here? And it looks like she's expecting. You can't marry him? Excuse me, ex do you know these two? He was my boyfriend and she was my best friend. He's been trying to date your other friends and looking for rich parents. <gasps> Not true. And he planted a story about Jack being married so you would break up with him. And he has a secret plan to get all of your parents' money. Oh, and did you know Ryan and I are having a baby? Uh, what? I don't know where that came from. And, in case you needed proof, here's your old boyfriend. Hi, Sarah. You look beautiful. That's it! The wedding's off! I'm not marrying you! I knew we should have ran up to Las Vegas. I had a feeling he didn't go to Stanford. Probably not smart enough. Oh, and by the way, that was just a pillow. I'm so sorry! I never wanted to break up with you. I thought... We'd be the ones up there someday. I was thinking the exact same thing. It looks like it all came out for the right reason. You know, Sarah, I've always loved you for what's in your heart, not what's in your bank. So, we may have a wedding after all. Sarah should have seen the warning signs with Ryan early on, but now she's back with the guy of her dreams. In this video, Sarah found out that true love stories never have endings. Help us spread the word by sharing this video, and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to see new ones. See you next time!